Welcome and thanks for coming out this morning. I'm Alvin Gillard, Director of the Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement. Along with the Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts and Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, we are here to announce the details of the 13th Annual Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade presented by Foreman Mills. Baltimore's Dr. King Parade, as we like to say, truly is the People's Parade by featuring participants from the region and attracting tens of thousands of residents and visitors each year. To give you more information on the parade, please welcome our mayor, Stephanie Rollins-Blake. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, and thanks for the introduction and all of your hard work. It is certainly my pleasure to announce today uh, that Baltimore's 13th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade, presented by Foreman Mills. Um, this year's parade will be held on January the 19th at noon. Uh, this is a departure uh, from the way we've done it before, and this is uh, Saturday, uh, January 19th at noon, stepping off at Martin Luther King Boulevard and Utah Street. That's the same location as before. This is the first year the parade will take place on the Saturday before Dr. The Dr. King holiday, and we moved it so we wouldn't conflict with the second inauguration of our President Barack Obama. With Baltimore's close proximity to Washington, D.C., we know that many area residents and organizations and officials will be traveling to the inauguration, and we certainly wouldn't want to make people make the choice between uh, honoring uh, Reverend Dr. King, thank you, uh, Councilman, and um, honoring, the count, uh, honoring Dr. Martin Luther King as well as uh, the, the president. So uh, I'm very glad to be joined today by two fine uh, councilmen who have participated in this parade, uh, Rain or Shine, uh, Councilman Brandon Scott and Councilman Nick Mosby. Um, the parade features groups across the Mid-Atlantic region, including high school and community marching bands, service organizations, youth groups, and more. The parade was created to remind us of Dr. King's message of equality unity and peace. The event would not be possible without the support of our sponsors and partners, especially from our presenting sponsor from uh, Foreman Mills. And I'm uh, sincerely grateful for the support that uh, Foreman Mills has given the city and the, the parade. Uh, I like having a variety of places where you can go and save money and stretch a dollar. And the fact that Foreman Mills is here doing that, I appreciate it. The fact that they're sponsoring uh, the parade again, I appreciate it. Uh, so I'm looking for a, a continued strong relationship. In addition, I want to thank Cricket Wireless, Corrigan Sports Enterprises, and Baltimore Running Festival, Verizon Wireless, Visit Baltimore, Kelly and Associates Insurance Group, and Lexington Market. And I can't forget our media sponsors, Fox 45 and the CW Baltimore, the African American Newspapers, the Baltimore Times, Baltimore Brew, and Radio One, which is 92Q, Magic 95.9, Spirit 1400, and WOLB 1010. I also want to acknowledge Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts and the Office of Civil Rights and Wage Enforcement for producing uh, this parade. And I want to acknowledge the hard work of this, all of the city agencies that work together to make this a success. You know, we come together seamlessly when it's time to do these celebrations, and I'm really uh, proud of the commitment to partnership that we have in supporting uh, each other to make sure that we're able to produce a great event for, um, for our citizens. So right now, I would uh, like to announce the Grand Marshal for the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade will be Baltimore native Charles Chu Smith. Come on up. He was a member of the Harlem Globetrotters and the founder of Chu Smith Youth Empowerment Foundation, which is doing some good work in Baltimore. It, the foundation is dedicated to creating programs that facilitate positive growth in our young people. Please welcome Chu. Good morning, everybody. How you doing? Good morning. Yeah, all the smiles. Happy New Year. Um, I just want to thank uh, everybody for having me. Um, thank our, our great mayor. You know, we have to understand that our mayor has an unbelievable task to move people. And we have to support our mayor. And I'm going to support everybody that's doing good work. And that's what we have to do. Um, this is an honor to be a Grand Marshal. It was 12 before me. 
I just hope that I hold up in the highest light and the highest esteem to do right, being a grand marshal. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King represented everything for all of us. I'm humbled to be able to be here today for all that he represents. He's a man of great passion and love for people. You know, being a Harlem road trotter, that's what that represents as being an ambassador of goodwill. And that's what we have to do. There's two things I've learned in my journey as I think about Martin Luther King. All the other stuff, the status, the success, you know, the pedestal that people put you on, it's really all about two things, and that's love and service. We have to love each other, people. And that's what Dr. Martin Luther King wanted for us to love one another, care for one another, use our gifts to help the person next to you. I always inspired to just learn from all kinds of great people. And I'm just honored and I hope that I continue to do the work that God has bestowed upon me. I thank you all. I hope that I'll be a pretty good grand marshal for the 13th annual. And uh, let's have some fun right now because we're going to get some tricks. We got Matt Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Smith. We look forward to having you join us on Saturday, and we believe it is so important to create and maintain a link between the life and legacy of Dr. King with young people, giving them hope and a sense of worth and self-empowerment. In addition to Mr. Smith, parade goers can see a wonderful procession of participants, including the Edmondson West Side High School Marching Band, the Maryland Buffalo Soldiers and Zydeco Cowboys Mounted Unit, the Ravens Roost Civic and Professional Groups, and much, much more. As Mayor Rollins mentioned, Baltimore's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade is made possible with the support of our many sponsors, and Foreman Mills has been dedicated to this event for several years. Please welcome Darren Davis, District Manager of Washington, D.C., Baltimore, for Foreman Mills. Mr. Davis. First of all, I want to say that uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad I dressed okay today. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going to be on camera, but uh, I want to take time to just to thank the mayor, uh, but just give our mayor a hand. You know, you know I think it's so important. Uh, you know, we're excited to be a part of this, uh, this process uh, every, every year for the last few years, Foreman Mills. Uh, but more important than uh, us connecting with uh, the community, uh, I really want to just put the spotlight on uh, the mayor and what she's doing here in the city here. Uh, it's a great thing that's happening here in Baltimore. 
Uh, I'm a native of Washington, D.C. Uh, my Redskins did not uh, make it uh, past the first round of playoffs, uh, but the Ravens did. And uh, you guys are so close, and we're so glad that we can partner with you all. And just like Chu said, uh, you know, this is about community and service. And what uh, MLK Day represents for us all is really about opportunity. So we're, we're excited uh, at Foreman Mills that we can create opportunities for our community. Many of you all know that uh, we're in a lot of challenged communities. And uh, we're glad that we can partner there and provide uh, employment. Uh, but again, you know, taking the spotlight off of Foreman Mills, really putting it on what this lovely mayor is doing here in the city, it's just incredible about all the opportunity and the change that's happening for us all. So again, we're excited to be here. I'm looking forward to Saturday. And, um, you know, I, I, I promise you, I probably won't wear a Redskins outfit. You know, I'm still a little bit uh, disappointed about that. Uh, but again, I'm glad to be here, and we're glad that we can so much be here and just to help out the community. And we look forward to partnering with you again next year, okay? And uh, thank you again for uh, allowing us to be here. Thank you, Mr. Davis. As we celebrate the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, we honor African American history and our nation's multiculturalism. Much of the nation's history, including civil rights history, is rooted right here in Baltimore. And the tourism organization, Visit Baltimore, is recognizing that history by offering the legends and legacies past. Please welcome Sam Rogers, Executive Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer of Visit Baltimore. Sam. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the old adage was, you know, don't follow kids, dogs, and now I'm adding basketball players. Um, bring you greetings from Tom Noonan, uh, President and CEO of Visit Baltimore, who is out of town this week attending a trade show. Uh, we're hoping he's going to bring us some great business for the future. But in the meantime, Visit Baltimore is proud to be a sponsor of the 13th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. Our involvement in this year's parade marks yet another step in our long-standing marketing campaign to share the stories of the African-American experience in Baltimore and to attract more African-American visitors to our great city. It also comes at the beginning of 2013, when Maryland will lead the way in the international commemoration and tribute to Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad, marking the centennial of her passing. And it allows us to further promote the recently launched Legends and Legacies Heritage Pass to residents and visitors alike. The pass is the result of a collaboration between the Reginald F. Lewis Museum of African American History and Culture, the National Great Blacks and Wax Museum, and the Frederick Douglass Isaac Myers Maritime Park. Um, I would like to thank Dr. Joanne Martin, Dr. Skip Sanders, and Ms. Marcia Jews for their commitment to this unprecedented program. They, along with Shalonda Stokes from Graybow Media and Dion Joyner Weems, Director of Advertising and Promotion at Visit Baltimore, have worked diligently to create a new path to discovering Baltimore's story, or as we say in our upcoming advertising campaign, more than a Baltimore story, an American story. For more information about the Legends and Legacies Heritage Pass, Please stop by our booth along the parade route, where you'll also be greeted by living history reenactors, courtesy of Tom Saunders of Renaissance Production and Tours, one of our partners. You can also visit our website, www.baltimore.org, for more information about the past and the upcoming Black History Month events in Baltimore. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. We encourage everyone to join us on this Saturday, January 19, once again, that's this Saturday, for the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade Celebration. Uh, we'll kick off at Martin Luther King Boulevard and Utah Street for the 13th annual celebration presented by Foreman Mills. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Chu. Thank you again. You you got to give me a better warning next time so I can at least practice up so, it, so people can think that I've held a basketball more than that one time in the last 10 years. But I'm, tennis, I can, you know, I might be able to take you in tennis. <laughs> thank you all for coming and thank you uh, to our sponsor and for everyone to come together and make this a great event.